Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor for those of you who have never been here before and welcome to another episode of The Sims 4 Cottage Living. In this episode we are definitely going to be having some fun because Willow's not going to school. <laughs> I'm going to give her a couple days off as like a winter holiday since we are in the time between Winterfest and New Year's. I just think she should have some time to invite some friends over. Maybe her mom can have some friends over and a little bit less stress and just sounds fun to me and I just think that that's exciting. If you're not already subscribed to this channel make sure you do that down below and you can also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it because it really helps out with the YouTube algorithm. And let's just jump into the video. I'm really excited. <laughs> Willow, you need to clean your room, Lil Missy. The last time we've had some of these in our home, uh, two people die. People die when we have dust bunnies. So please go step on the dust bunny. Jocelyn died with a dust bunny. Derek died with a dust bunny. One of you pointed that out in the comments and my brain literally almost exploded. Now I did forget to add the holiday for today until after midnight. So I wasn't able to actually give her the day off of school, but I did make it so that this winter holiday here gives you the day off work and school. So we won't go to school today and then we'll have the day off tomorrow and then it'll be the weekend. And by that point, Willow will actually be ready to age up, which is very scary. She's gonna be a teenager. She's gonna be a, a, a teenager. I can't I can't she's gonna be the best she's so cute honestly so excited anyway so she's gonna use the toilet take a shower do all that fun stuff and then go get herself some breakfast and honestly we have a lot of just general cleanup to do there's like half a cake some like old food and it's just it's not good it's we've still got cake. she can have cake for breakfast honestly do your thing well you deserve it but your mom will definitely need to clean up quite a bit because it's 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 a disaster our living room is also a disaster there's food half started everywhere it's just not good it's not good and honestly every kid deserves to have cake for breakfast when they're on like their winter holiday it's the best time of the year i just really don't want her to go to school today i want her to like have a little bit of fun hang out with her mom maybe invite a friend over later yeah we're skipping school <laughs> we don't have to be good students it's not something you need to do what's wrong with you girl like look at how much there is to clean up in this house ew this house is disgusting oh no i don't even think we took care of our hens or our chickens or our cow yesterday we are terrible animal parents let's clean the shed call sky over and talk to some of our hens i completely forgot about them if i'm honest oops <laughs> i was so focused on having a good winter fest power conservation day is now in effect all power will be turned off for the next 12 hours we love eco lifestyle <laughs> oh no Th that's not good we're gonna have to be in the dark all day long her principal's calling yeah we can answer it but it doesn't mean we're going to school I think she should come outside and maybe hang out with some of the chickens because chickens are cute. And that's a fun way to spend a day off. Little Willow is missing school. If she misses too many days, her grades will suffer. You know, your grades are not the most important thing in the entire world. Autumn collected 22 eggs. That's a lot. 22. Look at that. We got 170 some We got a pet poop. There's a lot going on. For some reason we have a future. Oh, we got a future cube on Christmas, I think. But can someone come like talk to the chickens? <laughs> Make sure that they don't hate us maybe? Um, give a chicken nugget of advice. Willow, come over here and scatter some food and try to keep these guys happy. Cause obviously they're not very happy and they don't like us very much. But this is supposed to be a cottage living let's play. Oh, the house is so dark. I don't like when the power's off. At least it's only for 12 hours. Now, is she able to invite over her little friend Evie even though Evie would technically be at school? Does Evie want to come over and hang out? Nice. Evie is going to be right over to play. That's beautiful. We can monkey around, discuss our interests. The fact that she's wearing shorts and a tank top the day after Winterfest. Like if you're in Australia, okay. But in this world, it is winter time. Uh, mm -hmm. Willow seems to thrive on the shock and rage of others. Is it time to admit that she likes mischief? Absolutely. <laughs> like, look at her. Aww. Well, so cute. And I love the fact that she has a friend now. You can ask for some typing tips. Honestly, she's tricked her with a hand buzzer twice. I'm starting not to think that she's uh, the nicest, but like, <clears throat> it's okay. Evie's going to be our best friend. Where did she go? It's so dark in this home. <laughs> oh boy, there's nothing to do in the dark. At least we have a fire to keep us warm. But like, how am I supposed to keep this house organized when we can't do anything because it's so dark? At least she can go ahead and just paint in the dark, maybe, hopefully. Can we paint in the dark? Will she be able to see the paint in the dark? There we go, girl, paint your little heart out. Now, where is Evie? Oh, they're both going upstairs together at the same time, creepily walking like they're connected. <laughs> Ooh, she made a painting that's worth 400 simoleons. She's actually like kind of talented. Not that I'm surprised that Autumn is talented, but like, 
Good for you, girl. Do your thing. She needs to go actually use the toilet and take a shower while Willow's just sitting here talking to her new friend. They're not becoming like best friends very quickly because Willow just keeps doing mischief interactions, which is like, Willow, be nice to your new friend. Make them your friend. Don't be mean to them. <laughs> like, don't shout forbidden words. Do a pop culture reference and tell her a story. We don't need to have her hate you, <laughs> Willow. You need a friend. Oh, I thought this was gonna go well, but she's kind of a little bit chaotic and I like that about her, but sometimes she's a little much. When is our power gonna come back on? This is so annoying. I hate when the power is out. It just stresses me out. I need to get rid of that neighborhood action plan. That's the only annoying thing about eco lifestyle. Sometimes you don't realize which neighborhood action plans are currently enacted and you're like, oh, oops, that's not something I wanted. <laughs> we still have a school project that Willow needs to do. Maybe I'll get her to work on that because her friend's gonna end up going home soon and like, eh, whatever. We can at least get some homework done during this beautiful break. Oh, and there's a bunny. <laughs> she doesn't have to go to school for a few days, so it won't even really affect her much, but I can get her mom to come over and help her. And like, that's really cute. There's just candles on the floor from when we were looking for different decorations. It's almost Willow's birthday. Willow has two days till she ages up. Autumn only has five, like that's nothing. Can you help too? Ask for help with projects. We'll get it done so fast if we all just cheat and do it together. Hey, you're not done yet. Ma'am, ma'am, get back here, finish your homework, and then you can go back in your home and have a nice relaxing evening. Oh, finally. <laughs> I hate power conservation day. I hate water conservation day. I gotta change some neighborhood action plans because I can't deal with that. But we gotta do it the right way. How many influence points does Autumn have? Cause like she could repeal some stuff eventually. I don't even remember how this all works. We have 336. So we would just need to like ask some people to help us repeal some stuff. So that wouldn't be too bad. But I'm gonna get Autumn to go ahead and serve some dinner. Actually, they can just eat leftovers. There's quite a bit of leftovers in this household from all of our beautiful evenings on Winterfest. Oh, there's more dust bunnies. Oh no. Dust bunnies in this house, evil. Vacuum it up and then just start cleaning because this place is disgusting. <laughs> and I couldn't tell that it was disgusting when it was dark, but now I can tell that it's disgusting. And we should probably change the decor a little bit because we're still very much decorated for the holiday season, but I would like to decorate a little bit more. Also, for some reason I have cows in my inventory. We're just gonna ignore that. Um, I would like to decorate a little bit more for New Year's, that's the word I'm looking for. Good job, Taylor. But I wanna have a little New Year's party and maybe get some New Year's resolutions going for the family because they just, they need to figure out what they're gonna do with their lives this year. Like what is Willow's plan? What is Autumn's plan for the future? And can we get our not red couch back? Ooh, what color was it before? I don't remember, but I'm kind of feeling that blue. <laughs> but I definitely want them to like figure out what they want their lives to be for the next year and figure out what kind of future they want to have. Like, is Willow going to go to college? Is Autumn going to get a job? Is Autumn just going to, you know, live her life painting? Does she want a real job? Does she want to fall in love? These are all things they need to figure out at a beautiful New Year's party. Do some resolutions, really think about their lives. It's, it's important to think back and be like, okay, how can I make this better? She's still working on her project. Thankfully, she's finally done. Go get some food, girl. It's almost midnight. Get yourself some food. It's a cookie, maybe not the healthiest option, but like you're doing your thing. You deserve to do whatever makes your heart happy. And that is how I live my life is, does it make your heart happy? Yes, then go right ahead. Oh my gosh, there are so many dust bunnies in this house. The fact that we have a maid and the maid doesn't deal with the dust bunnies makes me really mad. <laughs> Bust the dust is dead. It is broken, it is dead. That was so cute the way that she just like flopped over and now it looks like she's sleeping with her teddy bear. Precious. I think the perfect day to start Willow's winter holidays off is the first thing she should do is just go take a bubble bath. That's the most relaxing way to enjoy your time. And then maybe we'll go ahead and we will get her to clean up the spoiled food because ew, and then get her to cook some breakfast for her and Willow, something cute, something fun. Hmm, what are we feeling? What does she know how to cook? She's only got cooking level five. I don't even know what recipes are in the game anymore. French toast would be fun. She can make some French toast for the two of them clean out some spoiled food, make some French toast. And then when Willow's done in her bubble bath, which I bet she was having the best time ever. Oh, she hasn't even started yet. She's having the best time ever. She can actually clean up her mess down there. <laughs> I made sure to add clean up as one of the things because our house was such a mess, so. And Autumn and Willow can eat their French toast and just try to be happy and start thinking about their future. Honestly, 
I'm too attached. <laughs> Look at Willow's little outfit. Oh my goodness, she's just too cute. She can go get some, look at this, New Year's Eve is tomorrow. We've got so much going on. So we can play games, we can invite people over and we can clean. Those are all not very fun things to do, but honestly, well, games is fun. There's another dust bunny. I am, mm -hmm, it's gonna be okay. I'm gonna get them a gaming system and then invite over a friend for Willow. I love that this family has so much money that I can just be like, oh, I wanna do this thing and they can just do it. Normally, every time I play The Sims, it's like, oh, my family's really, really poor. Okay, we can't do anything. <laughs> We're gonna invite over Evie. <clears throat> Actually, let's like plan a little get together for the kiddos. Let's get her to... So for whatever reason, it's not letting me invite over Evie, which is really annoying, but I might invite over Santa Claus and Wanda and Kim and just invite over some people that Willow knows and then they can all just hang out. She's got another friend that can come over. Evie doesn't seem to want to come over. Evie doesn't seem to like us very much, but that's okay. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> but we can go ahead. Apparently Evie's here now. Why is Cecilia here? That's weird. <laughs> This game is just weird sometimes, but like they can just play some video games together, have a good time. Like, look at how cute these two are. It's time to game. Wow, well, gamer girls. Gamer girls confirmed. I once again forgot that we have animals. Every time I'm playing this, I'm like, oh, I need to feed the animals. And then I just don't. Uh, let's clean the shed, refill the food, clean the coop, <laughs> scatter food nearby, collect some eggs. And Willow, I really need you to go talk to the chickens. These are her friends. She talks to the chickens. <laughs> I'm so bad at taking care of animals. This is why I don't have a dog in real life because sometimes I would just forget that they exist, which sounds terrible. Oh, now everybody's coming over, okay. Look at Santa Claus came over. Could you imagine just like having Santa's phone number? I can't imagine that, that's too cute. Who are you? Are you adorable? <laughs> Oh, somebody wants to buy something on Plopsy. This is like the most chaotic my brain has ever been, but I think I might've given that away. <laughs> I think I might've listed it on Plopsy and gave it to Kim as like a gift. Oopsie daisy. I've honestly always kind of thought that Wanda and Autumn kind of like have a little bit of a thing for each other and that they might, you know, end up together someday. <clears throat> now. What do we actually know about Wanda? We should definitely get to know Wanda a little bit better because the last time we just picked a random person and we're like, oh, this would be a good wife. Uh, they were non-committal. Look, they're talking about marriage. Did you see that? They were talking about wedding bells. They were talking about their future. <laughs> we can ask her about her career. Try to get to know her as much as possible to figure out a little bit more before we end up with somebody who is non-committal and doesn't want to be with us. They are unemployed, which is a little bit disappointing. Kind of disappointing, but that's okay. We can, uh, I already asked about career, but we'll do that again. Be like, are you sure you're unemployed? Are you sure that that's where your life is headed? I'm not so sure. That's okay. We can com compliment her outfit. She's quite cute. I feel like they would be very happy together. We can maybe ask about hobbies. <laughs> I just want to know as much as I possibly can about somebody before Autumn ever attempts to fall in love again, because it's just not meant to be with Cecilia, obviously. Cecilia was a little bit scary. And I'm just not into that. She likes video gaming. So like her and Willow could like play games together. Maybe that's adorable. <laughs> oh, she's obviously nice to children. You know, she's sitting here with Willow's little friend. She's been nice to Willow. Maybe she would be a good person to be friends with. You know, like, look, look at this. This could be like their future. Just the four of them. I don't know why this little like this little kid is like part of it now. Maybe this person. Oh, okay, no, never mind. You're no longer a part of our lives. But honestly, I think Wanda could be part of our lives for a while. I think that on New Year's, when Autumn decides to throw a New Year's party, she might have some some feelings and have her eye on a specific somebody for that New Year's kiss. You should definitely come back for that video in a couple of days. I'm really excited about this series. I know I say that every episode, but I'm like, I love these Sims. They make me so happy. I just, they make me feel warm and fuzzy and Willow and Autumn deserve the world. So I really hope that they get everything that they've ever wanted. But if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I really hope that you're having an amazing day and I will see you tomorrow.